Hello everyone and welcome to another video about the city of Final Fantasy of Ramia. Today, we'll be looking at a subject that a lot of you guys are probably interested in. One of this month's most anticipated events is the rework of Cloud, which we will soon get to see on the global version of the game. Now, although we are not 100% sure our favorites wannabe soldier rework will drop this Friday, we have reasons to believe it actually would be the case. Over in Japan, the second summer banner featured three characters, each with their respective EX weapons. Uh, these three characters were Titus, Cloud and Therion. However, on the global version, uh, it was stated that we'll only get to see four EXs in total, from which we already got two, Ishtolas and Onion Knight, which I already covered in one of my previous videos. Others, out of the three characters that I mentioned, just before, Cloud and Furion got a rework, which is now essential for them, especially since now we are moving towards a new meta, which is a DPS meta. Now the question we one might ask is, will they be relevant now? And that's what we're going to see in this video. Why do we need to rework these characters? Let's start with Furion. First of all, both of his moves only hit one or two times. This is particularly bad, especially in a DPS meta where characters need to dish out more than 9999 damage per turn. His seize attack along with its plus version lacks an HP attack after use. Lastly, both of his extension passives only grant a marginal bonus to both of his abilities and his C54 and C58 passives are laughably bad, both requiring Furion to be wounded and not even granting him a good bonus afterwards. This is mostly due to the fact that Firin participated in the first batch of Awakenings way back in October. Similarly, Cloud, who was also one of the first Awakened characters, only gains marginal buffs from his extension passives as well as his C54 and C58, although quite honestly they are still better than Firin's. Also, finishing touch is kind of lackluster since it well, it doesn't do much. Sure, it has a guaranteed launch mechanic attached to it, but it doesn't deal any kind of HP damage like Fang's Whirlwind does, nor does it do any battery. It grants Cloud some buffs if you have his 35 CP passive, but overall, it seems the move itself doesn't fit the character's role as a DPS. To be honest, I'd rather bring Fang into a fight instead of Cloud, because her kits at least make some sense. Let's now see how the devs will handle these reworks by analyzing them both and Oh boy, there is so much to say about them. Let's start with Fearing again. When equipping his C50 passive, the Bravery gain cap when overhealing will be increased from 150% of his in Bravery to 200%. His C54 will be totally changed. It now increases the party initial Bravery and max Bravery by 40% as long as Fearing's HP are more than 50%. The biggest change is arguably the Blood Sword extension. It now increases further the potency of the ability, which is now 20% instead of 5, and it will allow it to overflow up to 150%. It will also grant a frame buff called Blood Weapon, which slightly increases both his attack and max bravery percent, the exact percentage is 20%. Just like C's attack, Blood Sword will now, will now have a plus version if Fearing's HP are higher than 50%. And uh, on top of what it already got, it will further increase the potency by 20%, but more importantly, it will hit 4 times instead of 2. Lastly, if his HP is higher than 50% and the Blood Weapon uh, unique buff is active, um, two effects will also be added. First, the Bravery Attack will be changed into Bravery Attack Plus, which is a stronger Bravery Attack with 120% potency. It will also battery for 70% of Furion's attack stat, and it will heal his HP by 30% of Bravery damage dealt, up to 5% of his max HP. His standard HP attack will be changed into an HP Attack Plus, which is a one-hit bravery attack with 70% damage potency, followed by an, H by an HP attack, which will also heal the user for 30% of damage dealt, up to 5% of own max bravery. His two last buffs are his C58, uh, which will be once again totally changed. Uh, it will now grant 
60% attack and a medium speed increase while um, Furion's HP is over 50% and finally his C60 passive seize, seize attack extension will now see a huge rework. First it will have a 60% potency increase and his its plus version uh, will now hit three times instead of one and uh, on top of that we'll have a 20% damage boost um, also uh, the plus version will trigger an HP attack after use and while the unique buff blood weapon is active and his HP is over 50% seize attack will be transformed into seize attack plus blood weapon which also heals Furion for 50% of HP damage dealt up to 15% of his max HP Finally, let's talk about Cloud. I'll start with his C60 passive, Finishing Touch extension. Now, when using Finishing Touch, Cloud will heal his bravery by 70% of his own attack before the bravery hits. It will also have a 160% potency increase as well as a 50% more damage when dealing critical hits. It will also uh, have a 150% overflow as well as an HP attack after using Finishing Touch. The buffs granted by Cloud to himself after using uh, Finishing Touch while having the 50, um, excuse me, the 35 CP weapon passive equipped uh, will also be increased. Uh, his physical attack will be increased by uh, 20% and his max bravery will also go up by 25%. The buffs will also be extended by 8 turns. His Bravery Attack will also be changed to Bravery Attack Plus for 8 turns, which uh, will be a 2-hit non-elemental Bravery Attack with 140% damage potency and uh, a 50% bonus damage with critical hits. The biggest change I think that everyone wants it that to come is that after using Finishing Touch, the Cross Slash will be changed into Cross Slash Plus for 8 turns and of course it will revert back to cross slash after one use of um, cross slash plus. Basically now um, cross slash plus will have an increased chance to paralyze by 65%. So basically if the enemy is not resistant to paralysis and you have his uh, 15 CP weapon equipped or the passive of course, uh, you are guaranteed to paralyze. It's 100% par paralysis rate. Uh, secondly, uh, his C54 passive uh, will now be changed into increased attack by 40% and slightly increases speed while buffed. Uh, his cross slash extension passive, his C55, will also just like uh, his finishing touch heal his bravery by 70% of his own attack before the bravery hit. The potency will be increased by 60% and critical hits will now deal 50% more damage. And of course it will now have an overflow of 150%. After using the ability, the regular HP attack will be changed to HP attack plus which will now have a 120% potency uh, bravery attack attached to it before the HP attack. The overflow will pretty much like uh, for any other brave HP attack plus will be off uh, 120% and uh, the critical damage will be raised by uh, 50%. His C58 passive will now uh, increase his own attack by 40% and max bravery by 20% for 8 turns after initiating a chase sequence. The last thing I want to talk about is um, how Cloud gets more ability counts. Basically, uh, his cross slash will now have two more uses, and his finishing touch will now have one more use. Would I recommend you pulling for his banner? Well, it's actually a safe bet to not pull. If you're a new player, or you did not get any recent god tier characters, and you have plenty of gems to spare, do pull on his banner, and do your free pull, of course. But with Renoa just around the corner, it's rather a safe bet to keep your gems for her event and her EX. Thank you guys for watching and please subscribe to this channel, leave a like on, the, on the, this video if you liked it 
and uh, see you guys this Friday when the event drops. 